What's up, guys? How's everyone doing today? Make sure everybody can hear me all right. Can you guys hear me? What's up? I think I, I switched my uh my chat up a little bit on the YouTube settings so I could I think I can interact a little bit quicker now. It was really lagged before. Alright, good deal. So anyways, um I don't know if you guys seen those of you that follow me on Twitter. I drew this trend line in yesterday after I did my update video and threw it on Twitter. Um, this is an extremely interesting trend line to me. It's like this is where everything changed over right at this point where it crossed it right here. And I'll get in and talk in the chat in a minute. I just wanted to point this out. And this was our old resistance here right around. It's almost perfect at about the 6550 where this trend line comes across. Going off of all these touches down here, over here, and then... We broke through and it became support. I have a feeling that this may hold here. If not, you know, I still have my lower targets here. Um, look at it in the four hour, the 85 to 86 dollar range and then the 82. But this is, this is looking pretty promising. This is like when the whole market turned bullish and then we came back down, retested it came up and now we're coming back down we retest almost retested it yesterday so i do believe we're probably going to come back down to this area again um before continuing up maybe to the 90 50 area that i've been talking about so what's up how's everyone doing <clears throat> what's up simple grit what's up kelly fn based paul bear Joe holding on tight <clears throat> what's up Fritz yeah I think we're still in pretty good um, a damn good position here you know this you know, looking at the way this is forming I guess worst case scenario we could bounce all the way down until October all the way down here I highly doubt that's going to happen but um, just to look at it as a possibility but yeah, I do think, you know, we're probably going to come back down and test this trend line again. As you can see, we've tested it a few times over here. We may do the same again here. Excuse me a second. Turn the stupid phone off. There we go. <clears throat> Bitcoin's doing something funky. I don't think, I don't, I really don't think so. I think it's trying to. I think we'll come back down again. Like I said, test this trend line. Really watch this trend line. If it breaks, then obviously we're going down to our $85, $86 range. And if that doesn't hold, then we're looking at the $82 to $8,300 range. But this, this trend line looks pretty damn significant to me. I do believe the very good possibility that we don't break below this again. Only time will tell. up sparky my boy <clears throat> thanks pack crack fever appreciate that yeah if it does just keep buying 8k is the new 1k what's up paging dr bitcoin yeah um this whole area look at looking for it to go down here that everybody thinks it's going down reminds me of the six dollar range that was supposed to be definite resistance everybody was going to short it because we were for sure going back down it, that's exactly what this reminds me of every youtuber is talking it has 8500 7200 i don't think it's going to happen guys i do believe like i said we're probably go down test that 9050 area again and really keep an eye on that because like i said it could break and we could go down to the you know 85 86 like people are thinking but even even then i don't believe we go past the 82 8300 
even though I know people are saying the 200 EMA down here was right around that 7550 range. But um, I don't know. I, I really like the looks of this trend line right now. I guess we'll wait and see how it holds up. But like I said, I did post that yesterday. I think I posted it in the Discord group too, just to keep an eye on. Kurt Myers said, hey, Savvy started buying crypto January 18th. Been losing money ever since. Thought maybe it was time to learn a bit more. Thanks for the help. Right on, man. I don't know. I think anybody can... Uh, it can do a lot better with it if you just get in start learning the charts playing with it watch movements i'm gonna go into some smaller time frames and just see if we can see anything going on here um i do still have this target up right around here which would be the top of this triangle um and the top of this old rising channel here um even if that breaks then you know then we're looking at our higher targets of whoops didn't mean to move the triangle yeah 1600 to 1800 if we do break above this 11.6 area which it's possible guys um like i said before i love when everybody's bearish just like they got bearish around 6000 and i say in my videos um right around when we were approaching the 6000 i said i'll I'll see all you guys short and when you FOMO back in at 7,000. And, and you know, that's exactly what happened. Anthony M says, buy the fear. Yes, sir. Anyone else maxing credit cards to go all in? That's crazy. Crazy. Just a reminder, guys, it's still a speculative market. Don't put in more than you're willing to lose. Also, guys, don't forget to give the... Give the channel a thumbs up or the video whatever i uh before the video even came out i looked i had four thumbs down like instantly right when i posted the video before you know before i even went live that's crazy kelly orfield says savvy thinking highly of you skills and passion as you hate frauds trump's comments regarding btc have an impact the news effect results charts thoughts um i don't believe so um if you if you watch my channel i talk about that i i believe in show me the charts i'll tell you the news um, i believe by the time we hear about the news the move already happened it's already in the charts guys ion Wu lee thanks man i appreciate the tip you post videos almost every single day i know it's hard thank you for all you do in the crypto community we're all in this together that's right man yeah, it is tough. Um, I do post every single day. Um, I try to post an update every morning, but I was out of town yesterday. That's why I didn't do one today. And those of you that follow the channel know I was on vacation a couple weeks ago and I, I made some small tutorial videos so I could still post a video every day, but they weren't updates. What's up, Wendell? Yearly Bitcoin chart is all that needs to be shown. Right on, man. <clears throat> yeah, I I I think we're in I think I'm pretty confident in this area. Again, like I said, I could be wrong, but you know, we could drop straight down to 85 from here, who knows, but I do believe that I don't have it in my 4 hour. I probably should extend it to there. And I will do that. I'm going to throw this in my my 4 hour also. back over to the four hour so yeah we could come back down um and that would line up the bottom of this triangle with that white trend line would line up right there about that 9050 range i'm still looking at that i do let me go into the daily real quick and i do still think that this was a bull trap right here that popped out of this uh, descending wedge or descending triangle whatever way you want to look at it I think it's a descending wedge but I do look at that still as a bull trap paging dr. Bitcoin said exactly once everyone's bearish it's going up people love to hate you must be doing something right 
Yeah, there's a lot of haters, a lot of pissed off people. You know, I kind of feel bad for them because most of them that are pissed off and bitching all the time are probably lost a lot of money. Um, I mean, that's nature of the beast. People have to lose for others to, to make money, right? But I do believe if you don't know how to trade or if you're scared to trade or can't handle your emotions, buy the dips, man. And this is a hell of a dip right here. They maxed out their credit cards. Yeah, they got to figure out how to keep paying on them. Wendell says interest rates, cuts, money printing coming soon. Good for Bitcoin and cryptos. I believe so. Um, when people... When they cut the interest rates like that, people usually move into gold, silver, whatnot. I mean, now we got Bitcoin and people are more aware of it. Greg Fuller says, let the big dogs eat one to two years, hold and win. That's that's a good strategy. Um, th Those of you that watch my channel know I hold my Bitcoin and Litecoin and I... Um, I trade I trade leverage, which I've been in some longs forever now. I am at a, like a, a halt in my trading, but uh, and I use the profits to buy more. I don't I don't trade my actually actual coins. I've seen so many people lose their you know coin counts trying to trade them. Yanito said silver has been hammered for years. Same with gold, heavy manipulation and trillion trillion dollar markets. Yeah, this gold chart's kind of weird looking to me. Um, you know, I'm not sure what to take on this. I know everybody thinks it's going up, and it, and it possibly could be, but this this formation here on gold, I don't really, I don't, I don't really like it. You know, it's looks almost like a rising wedge form in here. Um, another way you could look at it is clone this line, bring it up. You know, it could go up to, you know, up to touch the top of this trend line somewhere in the 1530, 1520 range. And I don't know, it, it'll be interesting to watch there, but you got to remember just like Bitcoin, when we had the same type formations, um, like right here, looked bearish, but broke up and out. We could see the same thing in gold, but I, I really don't like that. The way this is forming here, I guess, I guess it could be all right. We could see all time highs in gold, I guess. <clears throat> Zeeshan said, what's your take on leverage trading? Um. If you know how to trade, it's it's definitely a way to, uh, you know, make a cash account like I do. I, I keep cash in Kraken to trade leverage. I only do five times leverage. Um, there is a link to Kraken in my description below my video. Um, there's also, uh, uh, what is it, Prime XBT you can do 100 times leverage, which that's straight gambling, guys. I Especially if you don't know what you're doing, I don't suggest you do that. It's real easy to lose your money. And there also is a uh, Bybit exchange link down there. And that one, uh, you can do pretty much any leverage on that one. But again, it, it, it doesn't, it's not for U.S. citizens. Um, I know some people use VPNs and do it, but if you get caught, it could be very bad. <clears throat> Hessel said, Savvy, thanks for everything you do for us to let us drink from your source is amazing the more you help others to get what they need the better you do in life thanks again right on man yeah i just i just can't stand a lot of the a lot of the youtubers that sell their their programs and stuff guys you can you can learn this stuff on your own man don't get ripped off by them guys you're wasting money that you could have you could have bought and held crypto instead of you know believe in their watch my videos pay me half a bitcoin or whatever it is some of them are outrageously priced and then uh just waste of money they teach you the basics you can get it anywhere for free don't forget to smash the likes hit the thumbs 
What's up, S. Jennings? Uh, Kelly Orfield said gold is going to go back the U.S. dollar in the near future. Watch gold. <coughs> Yanito said, take my money. What's your opinion in the next few days, Bitcoin bull or bearish? Um, that's what I was just looking at. <clears throat> Honestly, I'm I'm really watching this trend line here. As you can see, the EMIs or the EMIs, uh, my EMAs are turning over here. Um, this does look like the fourteen or the thirteen might cross the twenty-one here or the fifty-five. I'm sorry. The 13 might cross 55 and get another down tick, but <clears throat> I really, I really like this trend line. I think this may hold. Definitely watch the 9,050 area. If that breaks, then we're going down to the 85 to 86 range. If that doesn't hold, 82 is the lowest I see, guys. But I honestly don't think this trend line is going to break. Um, <clears throat> I like this 9,050 range. I've been talking about it for a while now. Seven days left for the having. Yeah, I don't. I think everything's in the charts, man. The having, you know, people are trying to base the having on Bitcoin's last having and or Litecoin's last having and stuff. Litecoin's only had one other having. I need some chilled sake bombs. <laughs> What's up, Gamma? So yeah, anybody um, that popped in here that's not part of the Discord group, definitely check the Discord group out. There's a lot of them are in here. A bunch of great people really help each other out. We don't we don't let rude jackasses in there. If they do come in, we get rid of them. Um, it's just an awesome place. If you're new and you want to learn and you want to post charts without getting made fun of, I mean that's that's how you learn. You. Page Dr. Bitcoin said, let's get this crypto. I hate that. <laughs> I am Wu Lee said, I just bought a blue Adidas cap on Amazon. Yeah, my wife got me this one. I think that's where she got it. Amazon. Crazy Greek freak. What's up, man? Take a look at Litecoin real quick. I'll take a look at it on the daily. Uh, yeah i had these this target here the 131 i still still am looking at it um see what happens here you know we could come down test this blue trend line again possibly i don't know i'm kind of out of it on i didn't look at the charts at all today and litecoin i haven't looked at since my last video so oh yeah my target's still around the 103. You can see I had this falling channel drawn in here. We popped up out of, came back down in, and now we're getting support on it again. And it looks like the EMAs are turning up on the four hour, which is looking pretty bullish. Um, I'm sure they turned over on the one hour already. Uh, looks like my 21 EMA is about to cross over the 55 maybe if we get some more uptick here that'll be a nice move probably up to the 92 dollar range and then see what happens from there <clears throat> let's keep this crypto right on window what's up henry it's good to see all you guys in here man i appreciate all the support um yeah like i said i mean obviously we're in a range right here let me look at look at the four hour real quick we're still getting resistance from the my emas down here but let's see what happens i still like i said i i'm really looking at this 9050 area still um 
I could be wrong. This was obviously a nice reversal candle here. Let's look at the one hour. Let's see if we get a better look in here. This actually this is looking kind of like a reversal diamond here. I don't like that wick, but. It is looking like a reversal diamond. Guess we'll have to see how it plays out, but eh, maybe not so much. It's kind of sloppy, but it does seem to be somewhat forming a reversal candle here. And let's see, the measured move of that would be Get us right back up to this 10,125 range, somewhere in there. I'm gonna put a put a target up there, see what happens. Maybe we'll wake up in the morning and it went there, right? But yeah, I'm not really not too worried about this area. Um I love that everybody's fear fearful and bearish here. This makes me feel better. When everybody's bullish, it's kind of scary. When everybody's bearish, it's fun. Predator said Ethereum is king. What's up, Predator? What's up, Scotty? Everyone's saying around 8,500, so I'm thinking we may bounce around 87. Yeah, it's possible. Like I said, there's two ways to look at it. <clears throat> Everyone's looking for a bounce at the 85. Either we don't get there, maybe not even get close, or... We blow through it and go down to the 82. If we if we went straight down from here, we could be looking at the $8,100 range. But like I said, I, I, I'm just really keeping an eye on this target here or this trend line right here. Um, like I said, that does kind of look like a reversal diamond there, but you know, it didn't, didn't really match out, match up. And I don't like when trend lines you know when people draw trend lines through wicks and all kinds of stuff i don't i think that's sloppy and it's doesn't work chad h savvy so buying a 95 still an okay buy if you're holding yeah um you know i obviously i don't i can't give financial advice vice but i'm i'm buying i'm going to continue buying Dollar cost average. <clears throat> John Libby says 17 month bear market and alts getting to me. Yeah, man. I don't know that, that, that that's another thing. Everybody's talking about alt season. It happened in 2017 does not mean it's going to happen now. I'm, I'm sure there's some alts that are going to do good, but I think a lot of them are going to die off. People are going to realize they're just not worth anything. A lot of them. Sure is boring in crypto right now. Yeah, it gets that way, man. <clears throat> Any buy in the four digits is okay, in my opinion, says Wendell. Yeah, I mean, if you're in it for the long term... I see nothing wrong with buying at these prices. Louis Garcia said, come out to San, San Joseph, St. Joseph, Michigan. Fire up the grill. That's not far from me, I don't think. Anthony Byers, got to believe we're going to get a 15% daily pops and if I had 20,000 to spend in crypto what's your top three coins Bitcoin Litecoin and Ethereum and I'm not a huge fan of Ethereum but um, yeah I'd stay in the top three Gamma Bravo said, holding my 9.7, going to buy more Friday. What's up, Spa? 
All right. Yeah, it should be a. Uh, it was a decent close today. I think it, it closed over 85 or 95, didn't it? Or did it close below? I didn't even watch it. We did get a little gap there in the four hour. So we're probably, we're definitely going to go back down and fill this gap. If nothing else at some point here. So yeah, I, I'm still looking. Here's the two areas I would watch here. And this is going to be on the one hour, guys. Or the four hour, I'm sorry. Just these two trend lines at ninety fifty. Yeah, these would be the areas I watch right now for Bitcoin. Um Look for support in both of these areas, 9350 range and 9050 range. Um, yeah. That's what I'm looking at with that. Litecoin. Uh, I think Litecoin's all right too. Like I said, I looking at the 103 area from where we broke out of that. I guess you could look at this as a bull flag. What's that one get us to? These are just, I'm just throwing these targets in here real quick, guys. I will do an update video in the morning. Um, see if we get some price action tonight. Kind of give us an idea what's going on. <laughs> these are my resistance areas. If we can break out of the top of this falling channel right here Randall I bet when Bitcoin decides to move to 20k it'll hit 40k in weeks I think you're right man I think once it breaks 40k might get a little or once it breaks 20k we might get a little pullback there's gonna be some people selling there um, but maybe not it might be like 6,000 might blow right through it but you know, if they do sell there, we'll we'll get a dip, and I I believe after that dip, if we get the dip at twenty thousand, it's it's gonna be fast. I really believe that. I know a lot of people are saying we won't hit, you know, go above twenty. We we might not even hit twenty thousand till next year, but I I don't believe so. Ion Wu, how did I le learn TA? Um, I started playing around with penny stocks. And and actually, it's kind of funny. I was playing around in penny stocks, and then uh, people started disappearing. I was hanging out in forums in there and learning, and what I, people started disappearing, and there wasn't as many people in the forums and stuff. And I started asking around. They said people were moving over to crypto, and that's why I got into crypto in 2017, and uh, started studying the Elliott Wave and Wickoff method, and uh, kind of spent thousands of hours staring at the charts um, i rarely slept and uh kind of just came up with my own method that worked but it's just you know it's just a mixture i still use my fibonacci's i still look at elliott wave a little bit but i don't try to predict anything with elliott wave actually come out to Stockton, California. Predator said I tracked the five dislikes. BS Veer Fib Circle Guy YouTube Schiller Boulevard <laughs> and Nike employee. <laughs> nice. I know one's right for sure. Let's Gargamel. We'll have some cold brews and talk crypto. I have a pop. I don't drink. I drank way too much in my younger years. May hit 50,000 by New Year's. That's definitely possible. Who's in Stockton? Who was that up there? Uh, Kanji86.
We're going to the 15 minute. Let's see what the EMAs look like. Just flatlining. Hmm. Monthly close is coming up. I hope it finishes better than it's looking. Let me, I haven't even looked at it. Let's see what the, uh, I want to look at the weekly. Yeah, see that line holds in the weekly too. Let's go over to the monthly. Or no, that's not that line. I'm sorry. That's just looking at that. That's why I wanted it to close down here yesterday to keep this hidden bullish divergence here. It's still... Still looking good, guys. So let me look at the monthly. The monthly really isn't that terrible. I mean, I, what is today? The 29th. So we got two more days. Um, yeah, like I said, in the if we go back to the daily, I believe we're probably going to test this trend line again and get a hell of a bounce so you know that could get our weekly up to let's see you know we could be back up around the ten thousand dollar range where would that put us on the weekly candle i mean the monthly i'm sorry halfway up yeah i think i think we're fine man You guys know my major bullish long term. I mean, the the Bitcoin gold versus the or Bitcoin daily versus the gold weekly. Savvy likes the snow. No, I do not. I hate snow. I hate it. Got the dip at eighty two for Litecoin. It was a quick bounce. Nice job, man. D man. GA Crypto, 152 people watching. Hit the like button. Please hit the like button. It helps channel out, guys. Oh, I drew this in earlier, too. I forgot to look at it. <laughs> we could be in a... Uh, you know, this could play out as a... Let's see some. What's it look like in the price action? Yeah. This could definitely play out here as a falling channel form in here that we pop up out of that would probably be the top of this trend line uh the break would probably be around that ninety eight hundred dollar range see what happens there that'll be interesting to watch what's the uh daily rsi look like daily rsi still looking good hidden bullish divergence there also How's Litecoin's RSI looking? Not too shabby. It look like in the daily. Daily still looks pretty good too. Bulls don't like the snow. Snow is fuel for the bulls. Do you see Litecoin breaking out? Yeah, I just talked about that. Um... I do. Litecoin could come back down and test this $80, $81 range again, possibly. Um, we're going to the four hour. We did that to this falling channel drawn in here. Um, try. Battling with the lines if they're right. I do believe they're right. We popped out of it here, came back down, popped back in. And it looks the same as, like I said, with Bitcoin. This almost looks like a reversal diamond form in here. Um, but those can also fake you out. They can move to the upside and shoot back down or do the opposite, move to the downside. Uh, but if Bitcoin's going to test that 90.50, Litecoin may pop back down to the $80 range before moving up, I guess it's possible. Um, it's kind of hard to tell right now. 
the RSI's definitely still got room to keep going up. Um, the EMAs have almost crossed. Yeah, see the 21 EMA almost crossed 55 here. If this can't, one hour candle goes down, we're probably going to go down a little bit more. Probably maybe come test the bottom of this again at the $87 range. From a hypothetical point of view, Delmer says, from a hyper hype from a hypothetical point of view, you have 1K to invest right now. What's your moves looking like? If I was just investing, I would probably throw 700 in Bitcoin and 300 in Litecoin. Looks like it has great support at 81 to 83. Yeah, that is obviously, but you know, I don't know that we'll go down that that low um we could but we also have good support right here on the 87 dollar range which would be retesting the top of this again <clears throat> we'll see these little movements though really don't um i've noticed something too i've watched a couple of the day traders videos just to watch them guys um they're always you know they're they're kind of good i guess calling on the daily moves but there's a couple of them that do like three four five videos a day so it's kind of hard to be wrong when you're just naming the price action as it's going on another thing is they suck at longer term calls at mid you know mid to long term price action they they even the ones that are good at the day trading are really not that good at the the longer calls they're wrong 90% of the time. If <coughs> OC Frugal Dad said if Bitcoin goes goes beyond 20,000 transaction fees would also go up, right? Probably. Um I don't think we'd have the same problem we did last time. I don't believe they would get that high. Well, the system's the network's a little bit better now. <clears throat> Predator said to Delmer, 50% Bitcoin, 25% Litecoin, 25% ETH. That's also a good mixture. I mean, like I said, it's all up to you. You do your own due diligence, research, understand what you're investing in. Don't just throw money in it because someone else said. Yeah, I think Bitcoin's going to be better for a store value anyway. I honestly do. I think, you know, it may not be Litecoin, but I, I, my my personal opinion is I think Litecoin is going to be the spending crypto. I think there will be more also, but I, I think Litecoin's going to do quite well. The most, like most people, can predict the future 100%, 85% accuracy would be really good. D Man said, I agree with you. Don't think 8,500. If it does happen, it'll bounce quick. Yeah, same here. Um, I'm not saying it's not possible, but I'm just saying everybody's are beating that number up man so those people that are waiting on the 85 will fomo in when they realize it's not going to 85 and that will create a nice little little bull run predator said until people start using it you mean bitcoin Fritz G, what's your EMA settings? Um, 8, 13, 21, 55, and 200.
D-Man said looks like 89, maybe 88. It's possible. It's possible. The longer it takes, though, the, the less likely I think it's going to go down. Um, I am looking for it in this candle, if it's going to happen. The lowest I see it without breaking this white trend line is about 9,050. If we paid you a hundred dollars an hour, could you live stream twenty four hours a day? <laughs> Bitcoin is probably the slowest crypto. It, might, it could be the slowest crypto, but it's the safest and most secure crypto by far. Every other coin, every other coin, um meaning Litecoin, BCH, uh, BSV, all the other, all the other soft forks and forks of Bitcoin could be 51% hacked. Predator said, I mean, Litecoin is only fast because it doesn't have people using it like Bitcoin. I don't know. I think it would still still be faster. Um, that's like if you look at Charlie. I don't know, Predator. You're better at um, you know the technicals and the. You know, I'm not a big, I'm not a coder or none of that. But from what I understand, Bitcoin gave or Litecoin gave up a little bit of security to get to be able to be faster. Bet they're all saying 8,500 because Richard Hart put it out there. Well, I mean, there is measured moves that get you there. I, you know, I took, I got a measured move that gets me right around the 85, 83 range, somewhere in there. Um, but I honestly think it's less likely. And like I said, everybody's so freaking bearish right now. Buy the freaking fear, people. Have you considered moving that white trend line down to the bottom of the wicks? This, are you talking about the skinny one? The big one is on the bottom. The only one that went through is this one here. But if you look at the white trend line, let me zoom in so you can see what it's doing. It's the white thick line from where it crossed over. One, two, three, four, five and then we crossed over and then we got one two well this one wicked through just a little bit three that was that that crazy crazy night where it dropped from where was it uh 8300 down to 6600 and then shot back up but yeah, that trend line, guys, I believe that's going to hold as support. <clears throat> Damn, I'm not W8 for 88, 9360, and I'm back in. $300 less won't make a difference. We can miss rally up to 98, maybe higher. Tomorrow is the day. Definitely possible. Stephen Schaefer said BSV has been 51% hacked and has not been destroyed. It has been proven 51% attack does not destroy a coin. Just that instance of the block. Yeah, I get it, but I don't know. I just, I really. Bitcoin doesn't have anybody to blame arrest nobody in control of it nobody claims they made it that we know other than satoshi nakamoto which we don't know if it's a person woman man group of people the government whatever 
Um, but I just don't like them because they got their their names on them. Bobby Crypto said you don't chart or you don't you don't do your chart with Wix. Yeah, I I only use Wix. I don't use the bodies of candles like most people. If you notice, I always go by the Wix. And that is the most accurate way in my opinion. Webage said Satoshi Nakamoto is a space alien. <laughs> could be, man. Anything could be at this point. But the ETC tech attack was a strange one, giving money back. Litecoin Network's quite strong. Very low probability of 51% hack. Yeah, it is pretty strong. I mean... You know, any of them really getting 51% hacked, I don't know that it's going to happen, but I'm just, I was just putting that out there. I mean, I'd like to see someone 51% hack Bitcoin. I think this is still going to play out, guys. What do you think about Crypto Jeremy? I think he's a good kid, man. I mean, I, I like Crypto Jeremy, and he admits that. You know, he's he says he's young and just learning, and you know, he's uh he's pretty humble in that sense. Isn't the anti fifty fifty one percent coding in the background of the forks that should be looked into all very centralized solutions, right? If they decide to, two Chinese miners own over 51% between them, if they decide to flick the switch, the game is over. I don't believe that the game would be over. Are you talking about... Um, Bitcoin SV and BCH chemical? Mark Mentor 1, what you said about Litecoin giving up security to be faster is incorrect. Uh, no, it's not incorrect. Um, Charlie Lee tells you exactly what he did to uh, make, that's why he made it faster. He gave up some security to be faster. It's exactly the words out of his mouth, the guy that coded the coin. Uh, chemical Daniel I'm not sure about that I don't I don't know it could be right I have no idea I don't know nothing about the uh, the mining and all that stuff that stuff's too technical for me I like charts nice and simple Brian with limbs. I bought Litecoin at 130. Am I in danger? Depends on what you bought it for. Are, what are you? What are you holding it? What are you doing?
Take it easy, Zoki. Oh, he said he need that dump now. <laughs> Yeah, chemical. I'm not sure. I'm I'm not sure about all that. I don't even know that that would would hurt Bitcoin, honestly. Have you seen the new lost this lottery's popping up on Ethereum? No, I've not. Holding it for profit. I think you'll be fine, Ryan, if you hold it. That's my opinion. Um Obviously, I can't give financial advice, but I'm holding all mine. Nuclear Redfield said I went in, all in on Litecoin for now. <clears throat> yeah, there's so many people um, saying that they think this is going to uh, be in this range for months. Um I don't know. I guess it's possible, but I think we're going to have a, a a nice push up here probably this month. Um I see us getting at least up to this 116 possibly blow through that this month, I guess. We'll just have to play it by ear. Litecoin, 250 confirmations. BTC, 6 confirmations. Actually more than 10 times slower than Bitcoin in terms of security. Fast confirmations and blocks are not the same as proof of work. Yearly highs will be broken by the end of the year on Bitcoin and Litecoin. I believe insanity said yearly highs will be broken by the end of the year in Bitcoin and Litecoin. I uh I believe all time highs will be hit this year. Big dog said hit the like button guys and join us in Discord. I believe we're very close to exciting times. David S said supply and demand twenty one million with four million loss float locked son. <laughs> what am I pri planning to take profits for Litecoin? Um, I don't know. You kind of got got to see how the the chart plays out. You know, we might end up in a bull run for a couple of years. Capital One just had a hundred million people's data stolen. BTC had people's data stolen. Well, that doesn't make sense. August will be interesting, to say the least, nuclear. Do you think buying now is a good time or hold? Well, if you're, you're holding, you're buying, I mean, that's. Insanity said, I don't see a repeat of a consolidation like the one that happened at 6K happening again. Um, you talking about this one? All the way back here, maybe. Float is locked with 17 million in circulation. Patriots Defender said, my plan is to build up a lot of money from profiting, profiting from the alt so I can buy one Bitcoin. There's a lot of people that do that. It's not been the best time to do it, though. That's for sure. Four million are lost forever with forgotten passwords. 
Yeah, they don't know the exact number. That's kind of a guesstimate, but I'm sure uh, Satoshis are gone. That's one million, and then probably one or two million at least when they weren't really worth anything and Bitcoin wasn't doing anything. I think a lot of people lost them. Is there any way to get those lost Bitcoins? I don't think so. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, if anybody knows in here, but I'm pretty sure people would be getting them. Take it easy, chemical. Sprite. I'm drinking Sprite, man. The one that was a few months long. What was that? <clears throat> How high do you think Litecoin will go in August? I believe it could be 130 to 150. Um, yeah, that's... Thought I had some targets on. Yeah, they're there. Yeah, there's my targets right there. What's up, Diver or Diver, Diver Dan from London? Just give your wife your private key; she'll keep it safe forever. <coughs> yeah, I know. Like when Binance got hacked, they were talking about the rollback or whatever that was. I didn't totally understand that. Maybe Predator, you could. Was there a way they could get those coins back or something? I didn't quite understand what the hell they were talking about. I never really looked into it. So let's take a vote. Hit uh. Hit one if you think we're going to 8,500. Hit two if you think we're going lower. And put uh put three in if you think uh we're probably not gonna go below that 90 or 9,050 range. Just to see where everybody's at in here. Boston's one maybe two <laughs> thought about it for a minute there Justin Atkinson asked if I was invested in tradi traditional stocks also no I still hold on to some junk penny stocks but no other than some 401k I don't have anything in the stocks A little bit of mixed opinion in here. That's what makes market work, though. Nobody thinks the same. If they did, the market would never work. Interesting. Everyone's vote is based on their positions. <laughs> you do gold and silver? No. Nope. Everyone feels will break to the downside. A lot of them. <laughs> Do 
Bitcoin with lost private keys is gone forever. Consider them burnt. Ouch. Could you imagine? Big Dog said 9,050 area holds. Quantum computing might crack the Satoshi wallet. Or, yeah. I've heard some people say that. August 15 to 20K. Definitely possible, man. I mean, definitely, definitely possible. I, I just look at this run we had here. What was this? Uh, between 9th of June to 26th of June, that was a $5,000 move. This thing can move quick, guys. I'm not investing in Adidas and Sprite. <laughs> Where's this thing going? Up or down? Everyone on the internet seems to feel you have the answer. The long term, I believe, are going way up. D man, Charlie Lee says after the halving, it will take a couple of days for Litecoin mining to get recalibrated back up running normal. Yeah, he did say about, th I think he said three days. David S. Savvy, it moved after Binance, Binance got hacked. Well, even before that, I mean, we had a nice move. Right here, this was. February to May. I mean, if you look at it though, it's not like that exact type of move hasn't happened in anything before. Same type of stuff. Savvy, are you going live during the having? Probably not. What is the having? Like seven days or something? Eight days? Seven days ish? Yeah, something like that. Am I froze? I hope not. Might be because I changed the settings on this uh, so it could be more interactive. Eric K said, and Litecoin is going down. You think? I don't know. I see uh, Litecoin going up. Paging Dr. Bitcoin 3. It's <laughs> a little late on that one. Adam and Eve formation on the three day Bitcoin chart. I heard someone say something about that. I guess you could even say that on, where did I see it? I don't use a three day. I don't even have it on here because I don't use it. But right here on the four hour, it looks like actual Adam and Eve could be forming right here. And this is rounding out. And then what would the measured move be off of that? And this, this is just for just checking it out. There's no guarantees here. But then a measured move off of that would be right around the 13,100 range. Definitely possible. 
can get that off there so I don't confuse myself in the morning. Diver Dan said I'm not buying anymore for a while. It's like cyber heroin, man. No, I don't I don't trade with Dodge Dogecoin. I know a lot of people do, but I do not. I don't have time to play around with that stuff. Miners don't work for free. They don't spend all that energy to have their reward cut in half. Well, the price has got to go up to support it. It'll just make it worth more. Sideways is healthier than vertical down also. One to 15 minute again. What time is it guys? Oh, it's been an hour. All right, I think I'm gonna get off here guys. Um, hope everyone has a good night. I will be doing my update video in the morning. So I appreciate y'all stopping by. I appreciate the support. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And also don't forget to check the description below the video if you can use any of those affiliate links down there. It's much appreciated. Um, Brave Browser, Abra, Coinbase, uh, the exchanges I have down there, Kraken, um, Prime XBT, all that stuff. Check it out, guys, if you can use it. Great. If you can't, that's all right, too. And again, I appreciate all you guys coming in, stopping by, and I will see you in the morning when I post the daily update video. Have a great night, guys. Thanks for tuning in.